let's make your business cook. Independent chefs who want to build and scale their personal and private chef business and call their own shots? Subscribe here for tips, hacks, and tactics to get clients, money, and freedom. So before we begin, like and subscribe below. Hey, chef. If I told you that you were lying to yourself and that that's what's causing you to needlessly suffer in a job that is overworking you, underpaying you, and underappreciating you, would you stay with me long enough to show you what the solution is? Because what I'd like to share with you today are the three truths that chefs ignore that cause you to suffer for no reason and the one thing you can do today to, to really change that. This is really a life changer. So let's move quickly into what those three truths are. The first truth is that most chefs lie to themselves. Now, I'm gonna give you proof of that. I'm sorry, this will probably make you cringe, but if you cringe, it's a good sign. So there are three stages when people lie to themselves about their circumstances. Just hear this out, okay? And see how it feels for you as you hear this. Three stages of lying to ourselves about circumstances. Number one, we start to harden ourselves to our own desires. The second stage is that we start to cripple our own powers of self-awareness. We do that by numbing out. We do that by um, blaming others, that sort of thing. And then the third phase that happens in the stages of lying to ourselves about circumstances is that we grow irritable and hostile because we start to hate our own cowardice and it becomes easier then to look at others who are to blame. So nobody needs to know that you're hearing this but if you're hearing any of this and it's describing you and you're cringing a little bit that's actually a good sign because it means that you know that you're looking for change and it means that you know that in some way to some degree you're probably lying to yourself now that leads me to talk about the next really crazy topic that will likely get a lot of comments in the comments below and go ahead and put some stuff in there if you like, but let's talk about mental illness and mental health because mental health is only an issue. If you're trying to adapt to something that's unhealthy, so I want you to think about that for a minute because mental health is not that uncomplicated and I'm not a doctor and I'm not making a diagnosis and I'm not making any opinions about medication. But what I'm gonna tell you is this, that imagine, and, and put aside work for a minute, chef, put aside your working conditions and, and your boss and, and the, um, the expectations placed on you. And instead, take a horrific situation, a horrific situation in a country you don't live in, in um, a culture that's not yours, um, a, a past that you can imagine that's more horrific than anything that has ever happened to you. And now picture what a person would do if they're adapt, if they are addressing that situation. And that person really has two choices. You know, picture being a prisoner of war. That's a good one. A prisoner of war. Um, yeah, that's a really good one uh, because it's not my life. And, um, and so I can look at it more objectively. Okay, prisoner of war situation. You've got two choices in that situation. You can either have a breakdown, right? Or you can learn to adapt. If you grew up in an abusive, terrible environment, um, you could either learn to adapt or you could break down and have a breakdown, right? Now, think about this. To learn to adapt and just live in that environment and get along with it and come to like it and enjoy it and call that love and, and, and call that friendship, that would be mental illness. That would be unhealthy. To break down from something, to say, I can't take this. I don't deserve this. This is untenable. I can't survive this. This has no future. That's healthy. That's healthy. 
So the number of people that I see in food and beverage that are suffering from issues that they call mental health astounds me because what it is is a sign that you probably shouldn't be doing what it is that you're doing and you wouldn't be suffering as much. It's actually a sign of health to admit that you're struggling with situations that you shouldn't be enduring. And if your two choices were learn how to adapt and persevere and continue to do more of what you're doing, which sounds terribly unhealthy, or break down and just go, you know what? I can't do it. I got to do something else. That's mental health. So the second truth that most chefs ignore is that you're actually healthy if you're suffering from being overworked and underpaid. Now, what you do about it's different, and I want to give you a choice. So what if I told you that there are really only seven questions that you need to answer that can tell you whether or not you should be right now in the food and beverage work that you're doing in the job that you're doing for the employer that you're doing it at. Truly, it's only seven questions. And I want you to go there now. Go to Food Workers Get Happy Now. Food Workers Get Happy Now.com. And you'll see the seven questions. They're important. They're about you. They're about your life. They're about helping you to see things clearly so that you don't lie to yourself about the things you've been persevering and adapting to in a really unhealthy way. And with those seven questions, you'll get to really see where it is that you stand and what it is that needs to change. And I know that you may have been lying to yourself for a long time thinking, it makes me tough if I can endure this. It, um, it shows, you know, what a wonderful person I am if I can give excessively and not think of myself. But the truth is, you've got one precious life and you deserve to have some joy in it as well. And to live with purpose. So I want you to go right now to foodworkersgethappynow.com, answer those seven questions so that you're no longer lying to yourself. You can see where you stand and in 90 seconds, I promise you, you will get real answers about where you are, and what you should do next and what your future can hold for you. Now let's look at the third truth chefs ignore. That is that there are solutions available to you. And I see so many chefs saying, I just heard it today. I heard a chef today say, I don't know whether or not I can really ever be happy. Well, oh my gosh, uh, it breaks my heart to hear that. There are solutions available and there are people available to help you. I give my time free to chefs every week so that I can share with you solutions that are available to you for where it is that you want to go with your future. Um, so, you know, one of the things that's really important to remember right now is that since um, the middle of last year, the United States has been number eight in the world for inflation. And all signs point to the fact that it's going to get worse. Inflation is terrible right now. And if you're in a position where you're living paycheck to paycheck and you're already not enjoying your work and have more month than money, um, you know, when when you're trying to live, then you don't have a safety net. You don't have money set aside for emergencies. You certainly don't have money set aside so you can have a vacation, which is really important to mental health. And you certainly don't have a future. And many chefs are working in jobs that are so labor intensive, their body will break down on average by the age of 48. And that's long before you'll be able to retire, given the money most chefs are making. And so you've got to invest in yourself. And it turns out that the number one thing that you can do to put off the effects of and combat the effects of inflation is to invest in your education so that you can increase your earning potential. That's the number one way, Chef, to protect yourself. So again, I wanna tell you there are solutions for you. Now, um, I have a solution for you that's next Thursday, February 17th, 
2022. It's one week from today. And it's really important because lying to yourself, adapting to unhealthy circumstances um, is really not the way to live your one precious life. It's not what your mom wants for you. It's not what your dad wants for you. It's not what you want for yourself, which is why you maybe have been going through those phases of lying to yourself and becoming more irritable or hostile and crippling your powers of self-awareness. So um, I want to tell you this event that's February 17th at tw uh, um, from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. I don't care if you've got something else handled. I don't care if you need to find a babysitter. I don't care if that's a day that you've normally been scheduled to work. You can put other people's priorities first for the rest of your life and everybody will take that from you, chef. Or you can find a way come hell or high water to find one gap of time in one way or another that you can get four hours for yourself so that you can grab a seat at my workshop called Take the Lid Off Your Future. It's for food and beverage professionals who want profitable career options and opportunities. And given what inflation is looking like, given what the market is like right now, what the job market is like, now is the time for you to stop lying to yourself, to get healthy about what it is that you can do for yourself and that you deserve and that you can give to those that you love and take action and avail yourself of a solution. So this workshop, take the lid off your future, which is for food and beverage professionals who want profitable career options and opportunities is next Thursday. And I want you to get your seat. Now, the value of it is $1,500. It's priceless. You will get the opportunity to work with three experts. It's not just me teaching this workshop. I've brought in experts from the resume writing field, from the job search field, from the what's my aptitude and what's my skill and how do I transition it to a new career and how do I level myself up um, fields. Uh, we're working with some great professionals and you need to be there. Um, and the price for that workshop um, is $297. But the reason that I want you to go here first and answer the seven questions first is that if you do that and you act as soon as you get that pop up window that gives you your test results for the seven uh, assessment questions, is that the special price on this site, Food Workers Get Happy Now, is $89. Okay, so you'll get more than a $200 discount if you go here now, right? Uh, go here now, everyone. <laughs> so here's what you're going to get at this workshop. I'm going to show you the five potential paths. There are only five paths, Jeff. If you're looking for a change, there are only five paths that you can take that will leverage your skills, talent, experience that you have in food and beverage. There are five of them. You may only be aware of one or two of them. And of the others, you may not know how to get there and how to utilize them, but there are five solid paths that you can follow that will leverage your talent and skills. The second thing that you're gonna get in just one day coming to that workshop, you're gonna be able to break free from the fears that are holding you back from taking that action. And then the third thing that you're going to get in one day, I promise you, Chef, is that you're gonna create a plan with the exact next steps you need to follow for the career path that you want for your one precious life. And I'm gonna give you the resources to get there. There is nothing better for you to do with the next 90 seconds of your time than to go to foodworkersgethappynow.com because this is the link by answering those seven assessment questions that will get you to the best price to get into that workshop that's valued at $1,500. The tickets right now are for sale at $297. But if you go here now and do it quickly to claim your seat, you can get a seat for $89. That's like one dinner out. That's like a couple six packs of beer. That's like a, a, a quarter. Um, for for the bud that's um, that's numbing you out so that you don't have to feel the fact 
that you've been lying to yourself and you're not happy where you are. I'm here to help. I've been where you are. Um, I would love to help you create the path that leverages your talents, your skills, your expertise, and heads you in the direction you've always wanted to go, but that you haven't taken action in yet. Please go now to foodworkersgethappy.com, foodworkersgethappynow.com, answer the seven questions, and then register for the workshop. You do not want to miss it. We're offering it once. This is a once and a lifetime opportunity for you. I truly am offering it this once. Find a way to get there. It's crucial. It's crucial for you. It's crucial for your income. It's crucial for your family. It's crucial for your body. It's crucial for your future. Get there. Okay? I'll see you there. Bye, Chef.